we are back with the watch and cut channel so we're going to do a little sharpening video today so the tools i'm bringing out here is a leather strop pure on one side a little green compound on the other we got a diamond stone slash ceramic whetstone that we're going to use to fix the damage here's a green impregnated compound strop and a white compound strop for a little bit more aggressive stropping. I like these guys. Knife Plus strop blocks are really good. I'm a big fan of them. I've been using them for e years, so I'm highly recommending those. The knife that we're gonna repair is the Best Tech Man Ronin, sent in by Dirk Warning. Go check out his channel, by the way. It's phenomenal. Uh, Dirk has been using this knife. It's 14C28N steel, and it's got some flat spots and some chips, so we're gonna restore it back to life. Before we do that though, we're gonna do a little cut test. I like to start with a straight cut test to see um, how well it can catch paper on its own. This is a little bit thicker paper, so. Um, but yeah, you can see this thing's doing more ripping than cutting. Um, so yeah, let's get right on it. First thing I like to do before I get started is I will soap and water my stones. I wanna get rid of all of that metal debris that sticks onto the stone when you're using them and then i like to use a white paper towel just to get a gauge of how clean the stone is and if the a paper towel stays white i know that there's not too much metallic stuff on it so then we're good to go i will also bring out a towel just to clean off the edge i'm going to find the apex um, of the bevel and i'm going to go slow to start off just to get a feel of what angle I'm working with. Sometimes you can lay the stone flat and do it in this manner. I like to hold the stone up to a little bit more of an edge. Now in the beginning, instead of going even uh, from one side to another, I'm kind of concentrating on the side that's got a little bit more edge damage. I'm using a bit more of an abrasive style stone right now, uh, the diamond stone. And these are designed to be used dry, according to Falkneven. So I have been using them that way over the years and they work great. Um, they do remove material pretty well, but not too aggressively. And if I'm trying to stay with a factory edge bevel, uh, that's a good way to go. As you can see, the edge damage was removed quite easily um, and I can already feel a little bit of sharpness. So now I'm gonna try to even out the bevel by going back and forth either one swipe at a time or two swipes at a time, or you can even do three. But if you're gonna start with a higher number, I recommend starting off with three uh, and then two and then one pass per side. Um, after you're done, you're gonna wanna wipe off all that stuff. I'm already feeling a pretty keen edge. It's gonna be now time to flip this stone over to something wet, a wet stone. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, it's not quite designed to be used wet, but you can see I've already got some nice clean cuts coming along. So now I'm just trying to bring it down to a little bit lower of a grit. So at this moment, um, I'm kind of feeling as I'm rubbing the bevel against the stone to get that nice smooth feeling. And that's when you know that you got a little bit more of a finer, edge and that the bevels are nice and even at the same time we're trying to make sure we don't get too much of a burr building up and if we do we're kind of knocking it off and again you can start off with five passes per side and flip it over and do five passes and then go to four three two and one and so on if you feel like um, I, I think when i get down to lower grits you're gonna have to do a little bit more work uh, because it does remove less material so usually you're going to want to use the sharper stone but as you can see even without a strop i'm already getting great cuts from the paper so now i'm going to go ahead and move on to the white compound now the white compound is more aggressive than the green compound but again you're trying to drop down from grit to grit heavier to lighter so now I'm just trying to kind of polish off the edge and make sure that the bevels are gonna stay nice and even on both sides. So this is the time where you're gonna to wanna to start being more even with your passes. Um, and I'm kind of speeding these things up, but I am kind of counting all the passes in every direction that I do. And I kind of increase the passes that I do on each side when I move on to a finer type 
polishing material. So the green compound is definitely of a bit of a finer uh, compound, although I really like it because I can literally bring back a mildly uh, dull edge with the green compound alone. So that's kind of my go-to for a lot of stuff. I'll use the white compound if I need a little bit more and then move on to the stone last if I really need it. A lot of times, guys, you guys are starting off with heavy stones and it's not really necessary. I like to prolong the edge life as much as possible. And now I'm kind of moving on to kind of like a, a bare leather strop with no compound on it just to kind of get that finer edge and again we got a nice clean cut so uh straight cut i mean we can take a look here it's gonna be really nice and catching very easily so at this point i'm not trying to remove tons of material i'm not trying to mess with the factory angle edge so i think we're gonna be good here um, so i think overall this came out pretty good and i'm very happy with the results I do a little shave test here um, it's not razor sharp, uh, but it is popping hairs quite well with just a single pass. So I think we are good to go here. Um, typically, you know, this whole pass here took me about 25 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video on how to sharpen a knife. I guess this is a bit of a rudimentary, simple way to do. So if you got questions, just ask them down below in the comments. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And this is the Watch Cut channel, out.